Now we're back at the range. We've got some targets down there at uh, whoop, that one there at 100 yards. And today we are going to be shooting this Weatherby Mark V chambered in a 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, real, real nice action. Now this here has the, uh, the six, it's got the six lug design in it. And I believe a 57 degree bolt throw. So pretty nice, real smooth. Uh, boy, they're not kidding when they say lightweight. This thing is just insanely light. Never shot this before. This gun has never been fired, but we're going to see how it does. Now the ammo we're going to use today is a uh, federal premium, and this is a uh, 120 grain 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, this is the trophy copper, so uh, good good hunting ground, which is what this gun's going to be used for. But let's see how this stuff does in that gun. Never been fired at 100 yards. All right, so we went out today and we shot this Weatherby Mark V 6.5 Creedmoor, um, which is, in my opinion, a pretty good shooting gun for a factory gun. Now the price on this is pretty high, um, but it does have some pretty nice features to it. Uh, one thing that I really do like about this is if you're if you're hunting way up high, you know, long hikes, whatever. Um, this thing is like super lightweight. It weighs, uh, advertised weight is about six and three quarters pounds, depending on the exact model you get. You know, if you got this in a Magnum uh, or a smaller caliber, of course the bore diameter will be different, adding or subtracting weight. But the bolt, very smooth. Um, it, I think I said earlier it's a 57 degree bolt throw, but it's actually 54 uh, from close to open. So very, very short bolt throw. And that's kind of inherent to uh, Weatherby with their six lug or nine lug bolts. But very nice and super lightweight. It was pretty accurate, shot under a one inch group at 100 yards and that was just with some factory ammo just sighting the gun in. So, uh, you know, it's a uh, fit and finish is really nice. I like it. It didn't re recoil too bad. It was very re reasonable, I think. Um, at least in my opinion. Um, now, <clears throat> one thing that I will absolutely give the hats off to Weatherby on this, and that is the trigger. There is no creep, no follow through, no nothing. It's just boom, just like glass. That is a very, very nice trigger. I was pretty impressed with that. So, um, I don't know. Just came across this and uh, had the opportunity to review it and unfortunately I didn't have a great scope on here, um, but it worked and uh, got us on target and shot a good group. So this happens to be just a Leopold, uh, I think this is only a like two by, no wait, maybe it's a, yeah, it's a four by 10, but uh, VX2. But the gun itself is, uh, gosh, it's just super, super lightweight. Um, I'm not a, personally, I'm not a big fan of lightweight guns. I'm, I'm more of a bench gun with, with some heavy type, you know, uh, I want that thing to sit rock solid. So it was a little bit hard to set this on the bag and shoot it because it, it did move around a little bit just because of the weight. But it's, uh, you know, and I didn't have a bipod for this. Um, this is actually a friend's gun. This, this is not my gun. But I think with a, with a nice, good, sturdy bipod and a nice shooting bag, um, this would be pretty good. But even without that, it's pretty good. It's a pretty nice rifle. Uh, pretty impressed with it. And 
I think Weatherby, they definitely got this spot on with the accuracy and with the trigger for sure. And the bolt, uh, 54 degree bolt throw. I mean, it's just, it's just nothing. That's it. So anyways, just had the opportunity, thought I'd, uh, you know, if anybody out there who watches my channel was looking for one of these, uh, I, I think I could recommend this uh, for just a factory rifle, kind of on the high end. Again, the, the price, these are not cheap, but um, but pretty nice. Again, this, this is not a super detailed review or anything like that. I didn't take pictures of the target and uh, anything crazy, but you know, uh, the stocks, typical Weatherby, um, nice cheek weld on here and, and a, a very, very rigid stock. This is not a cheap stock. You can't flex this stock at all. It is just rock solid, even though it's as light as it is. Normally, you know, as most of you know, you get a, uh, a, a real thin, a real thin stock like this, uh, and you know, you can just twist the crap out of them. Uh, not this one. This is just absolutely just rock solid. I, I can't even, I can't even flex it. So. Um, anyways, well, there's my two cents if anybody was interested, but uh, uh, great, great little gun. I, I like this, and the Creedmoor, of course, is, is a great caliber, um, and very, uh, they, they, you know, they have great bullet coefficients on the bullets and stuff, whether you're shooting factory or, or hand loads. Um, so, you know, for anybody who's out hunting and doing, uh, you know, those big mountain hikes, uh, uh, I wouldn't want to be packing my Ackley around because that thing weighs a ton. Um, but this would be a great, uh, a great rifle to be packing up in the hills or going on long hikes when you're getting in the backcountry doing some hunting or whatever you're doing. So, um, yeah, I like it. Anyways, there's my two cents on this particular rifle. Um, we've been shooting a lot of videos on the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor Savage build, so stay tuned for that. That's coming up here real soon. Um, I uh, just got a, got a barrel in the lathe right now, uh, actually for the 6.5 Creedmoor, a Schillen stainless barrel, it's a barrel blank, uh, starting from scratch, just a barrel blank and turning the whole thing down. And So we'll be uh, continu continuing on with shooting that and uh, all the footage on that and getting that posted here pretty soon. So um, got a Boyd stock coming for it, got a new uh, uh, Brownells recoil lug and, and different stuff. So that should turn out pretty good. and. Uh, again, stay tuned. We'll post that, that whole series on that and we'll break that all up too, just like we did with the Ackley build. So, um, well, that's all I got. So, anyways, enjoy.